come in and I process um, slides. We have uh, specimen um, that come in, you know, over the night from bronchoscopies. We get lung specimen, um, FNAs from doctors' offices like thyroid specimen or um, breast specimen, and Pap smears also. We're mostly looking for cancer, cancer or precancerous cells, and then we can tell some other disease processes. But our main goal is to find cancer. We're pretty busy bouncing back and forth from the processing side to the screening side. You may have 15 or 16 specimens to process, which is a lot, or you may have three or four. So it just really varies. There's a lot of flexibility. I, I enjoy processing the um, slides. I enjoy looking at the slides. I mean, it might seem kind of boring, you know, looking at a microscope a lot, but it's really not. You know, everything is very different than a microscope. I like that it's challenging. Uh, you never know what you're going to find when you look at that, look at a, the slide under the scope. Even though it may not be good for the patient if you find a malignancy, I think it's always exciting to find something different. I took a class at Marshall, um, about a clinical laboratory sciences class, and I learned about all the degrees in clinical laboratory sciences, and I just um, thought cytotechnology would be interesting. I went ahead and pursued my biology degree, but then when, once I got my degree, I, I thought, what am I going to do with a biology degree? So I enrolled in a cytotechnology program and became a cytotechnologist.